Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Jujan here and welcome back to Reengineering. So I'm making this video today because I was kind of disappointed in myself yesterday with the last Reengineering video, which basically just showed you guys a particle show, which anyone could really do. And it wasn't really that special. It was just because I couldn't get my previous idea to work. So I just thought I would do that instead. And like I said, I'm kind of disappointed with the fact that I did that. So today I'm going to show you guys something special, something that I had been working on, uh, which kind of uses a similar particle like system. But it uses it for more of a destructive reason. So today I'm going to show you guys my particle cannon slash railgun. Now I'm not really too sure what category this really falls under, but you guys will see in a second here. So on the outside there's four uh, spherical gravity generators. You have another spherical one on the inside over here, and if I get rid of that you can see it's just sitting in there like so. You have also a few other normal gravity generators pointing inwards like that, and then you have a few on the back here pointing in that general direction towards where the wall is. Now, the way this works is quite simple, and I'll show you guys in a second, but first things first, let me just kind of put up a little bit of a heavy armor wall here, because light armor, you know, it's okay, but you, if you really want to show how much damage this thing can do, we're going to do it with a little bit of heavy armor. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this isn't the strongest thing I've made, but it is pretty damn cool looking, and you can kind of move it around as well. Uh, if you want to aim at something else, because the particles do work like that, it just is a little bit slow of a process. So let's get inside the cockpit here and I can show you guys what I've mapped down the bottom down below. So, the first two buttons are for the, uh, what are they called, connectors on the front there. You see uh, two of them on either side, so there's eight of them in total, and if I turn them on right now, they will start spewing out a few little bits of ore here. Now, using the spherical gravity generators, and the fact that one of them is offset in the back here, on the inside, these will cause all of these to kind of flood to the front here and kind of converse in a general area. And you'll see this slowly build up with the more ore that kind of comes out here. You can see it forming up a wall. Now, this could be used as a shield if you really, really wanted it to, but I'm going to use it for more of a destructive reason. So, once the ore starts building up, you can slowly start to see the wall forming here, which I think is really, really cool. That's why I like it. It kind of reminds me of Samus' arm cannon from Metroid Prime or any of the Metroid games if you had ever played them. So, with that building up, you can stop it at whatever the limit you wanted it to. I've only got about 250,000 uh, kilograms in there, I think. Let me just check this container real quick. 260, or 268,000 kilograms of stone being poured out here. Now, once this is all lined up, you can see it forms kind of like this uh, very thin, well not really thin, but a, a kind of wall here, but this isn't really that effective because once I fire this, it's going to spread out everywhere and it's not really going to hit the target too much. So what I've added with the side generators here is to kind of compress them. So now it stopped spewing it out, meaning that that is all the ore we're going to get. So sitting back in the seat here, all I can do now is turn on the compression generators, which are the ones on the side here. Now what this will do is that this will constrict it to a smaller radius here, kind of making it a very, very tight uh, little area, which kind of looks kind of cool. It looks a little bit funky, but nonetheless, it is all compressed right now, and now we can fire it using the main force. So let's give that a shot, shall we? Now like I said, this doesn't do too much damage, but by god does it look cool. So we got a little thing over here prepared to have a look at it when it comes over. So let's go back to launching this baby, shall we? So now all we have to do is turn on the gravity generators like so and there it fires and now I'm watching it and kabang. Now you don't really see too much damage there until it finally renders the damage which gets really weird when it does that. So with all the particles around it does look pretty damn cool I'm not gonna lie. I love that. I love how weird and awesome it looks. But yeah slowly over time it does actually damage which is kind of weird but kind of cool nonetheless. So this is the basic amount of damage it has done so far. Just keep in mind that that was one heavy armor layer and two light armor layers behind there. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I don't know. It looks really, really cool from over here. But yeah, that's the basics of the cannon in itself. It's very, very simple to make and I can probably show you guys the insides of it in a second here. But I thought you guys would like to see this as well. And I will be putting this up on the workshop yet again. So I'm kind of going back to my cannon roots anyways. 
So we have the container here, which is where I put the ore into. Then the ore flows through the conveyors here into each of the connectors. When I tell them to collect all and to unload all, they'll then start spewing it out. Now, because of the way that the uh, spherical gravity are centered, you've got this one on a lower setting, pushing away. And the ones on the outside here have a bit of a higher radius than that one, and they're drawing them in. So that means that whilst it's pushing it away slowly, it comes over to about here it's because it's off center if i had the if i had this spherical generator here right in the middle in between all of these instead of going to the front of the ship it would cause a circle around the ship which it isn't too effective because we we've done the off center part just to make it more focused on the front now what you could do if you really wanted to is you can move this even further back now if you move that even further back it would cause the off center to be even larger meaning that we'd more than likely compress more so towards the center than what i've done here before instead of having to use the side gravity generators that you see here pushing it all to the inside so that's that's that part of the cannon done and like i said it's got a few reactors here to power the whole thing as well as the gravity that kind of pushes it all in towards the center here then you have all the gravity on the back here as well that just kind of basically forces it forwards that's the basics of the cannon it is a really really fun thing to use i've fallen in love with it i don't know why it's just a really really nice looking cannon and you know it, it works for the most part anyways so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it up again and i'm going to make the wall just slightly bigger so i put these about 100 meters away because i feel that that's oh sorry 100 blocks away i feel that's an all right measurement of distance and there we go. I feel that, you know, if you're going to have a ship, I don't think it'll be this many armor blocks thick. And how many is that? That's five? Yeah, that's... Well, five, uh, maybe if you don't count the last one. So four, four heavy armor blocks thick. I don't think your ship will be that thick, but you never know what some people do with their ships. So I'm going to fill this up yet again and try firing it once more, just the just in the video for you guys on an awesome bang. Now, I didn't actually copy the container. Uh, but I think I still have it in my pasteboard here, so we can go with a little big, uh, a little bit of a bigger cannon, I think. Because you know who doesn't like, who doesn't like big, massive cannons? Well, I think I do. And I think you guys would like to see a pretty damn big explosion as well, just just to end the video. So we're going to triple, or at least nearly triple, our payload from before, if I can actually reach on the inside over here and just kind of load it in. There we go. So now this will lag out my computer most likely but hopefully it won't crash. Oh, this is going to be something. How much do we have left to deposit? We still have 400. 400 stone going around like crazy in here. It is going between connectors to kind of disperse it. 390, it's going down slowly. So I'll fast forward to when this is actually done, if I can actually do so. Okay, so I've actually had to stop it there. We now have around about half a million kilograms of little teeny stones out the front of the ship now. I do still have a few on the inside here, but right now my FPS is going like crazy. And you can see that there's only around about 261 left. And since we put in around about 800 or so, I'm going to say that's around about... Uh, around about near, near half a million so i think that's quite a lot of ore now once the ore is actually stopped the frame rate kind of recovers slightly it's only when the ore is colliding causing a ripple effect through all of the ore does your fps actually suffer but once it's like this it actually looks kind of cool and by the way if you're wondering how this uh, how effective this is uh, as a shield you can fire two rockets into this before it completely disappears and that's because the blast radius damage done to the ore can happen twice before the ore is actually completely destroyed. So whilst it can survive one shot quite fine, the second shot will just get rid of all the ore within the blast radius. So anyways, let's get back in the seat here and let's fire this baby. Oh, this looks so damn cool. I'm not gonna lie, I actually love how awesome this looks right now. But anyways, let's turn my HUD back on here and let us compress the ore without dropping my frame rate too much. As I said before, my frame rate is tanking right now. Despite it saying at the top left that it's still 160 FPS, the game is not running at 160 FPS. Trust me, it is jumping and skipping like hell. But I think, oh no, okay, that's so actually smooth now. It was doing it before. So there we go. There's a compressed shot of half a million stones or half a million kilograms of stones. So that's now ready to fire. So let us prepare ourselves 
for this disaster ready to happen. So here we go, let's just make sure everything's set up properly and fire the cannon. Oh, here we go, we've got the cannon coming towards us, and kabang, there goes the FPS yet again. And how much damage does it actually do, I wonder? I highly doubt, because I couldn't compress it as much, I doubt that it did any severe amounts of damage. But we'll see in a few seconds here if it actually wants to update, which I don't think... Oh no, hang on! No, that's that was already damage done before, but that's... no, that's not new either. So it seems like the more you actually use, the less damage seems to be done here. Though the ore... Oh no, because the ore is now coming out of the rock. Holy... <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted to see how many stones were inside of here. Holy crap! That's where all your damage is, people. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. That is amazing. I've literally riddled your ship with laggy little teeny stones here that are slowly eating your ship from the inside out. Oh, that is cool. That is really, really cool. So that's how, how it actually does its damage. That's actually interesting. So the way the damage seems to be done is that the ore flies so fast it actually gets stuck inside the actual ship here. And then as it's forcing its way back out, like it's doing right there, it actually destroys the internals of the actual ship. As you guys can clearly see, the ores starting to come out here and it's actually destroying it from the inside out, which makes it a very interesting type of weapon here. So that's where all the ore is on the inside there, slowly damaging its way out. So that's a very interesting type of weapon, but my frame rate is absolutely terrible, so I'm gonna have to leave that here for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been an amazing audience, and if you like this cannon, if you like the video, please leave me a like and consider subscribing. So, thank you guys for watching, and stay awesome.